You're trying to be like your mother, overseeing things from afar. But you are not her. I'm sorry about Mara. I'm sorry about her. You're a bad friend. That's not what they need. My people turned our planet, all of Etheria, into a weapon. Podcast character designs done by Demon Artie. Like fan art, redesigns, original art, then Demon Artie's the artist you're going to want to follow. Be sure to check her out over on Twitter, at Artie Demon. If you like what you see, also consider supporting Demon Artie over on Patreon. For only $3 a month, you get access to Patreon-only community, concept art, voting on new art, bonus sketches, and the all-important fan service. So definitely check her out over on Patreon, because supporting independent art and artists is important. I wanted to get out one more of these articles let's put these in quotes articles paid advertisements for uh, Shira season five and this one's from the mary sue and it brings up a, 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 a could be a topic for discussion but they, they don't know how to discuss anything it's just uh i came up with an idea and you have to think the way that i think and um it's uh of course it's katra so katra deserves everything you know no matter how horrible a bad thing she's done there's never any uh no there's no punishment she never really uh feels bad about anything she did but she deserves all the redemption so this is for the mary sue uh, i'll have a link to the article the archive version again just like cbr and newsarama they're just garbage websites don't give them any traffic just go to the, the archive if you really want to read along and <laughs> cartoon teenagers shouldn't be held to unrealistic standards they're, they're, they're cartoons <laughs> they're not real people it's um the cartoon teenagers shouldn't have superpowers and be able to do anything like real people <laughs> it's just it's just a stupid concept but uh, the 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 topic of actually talking about what should happen with catchers is something you should be able to talk about but they frame it in this weird way to where uh she's always right and only good things should happen to catcher and uh princess weeks wrote this is that your DJ name? If I had your birth certificate, that's what it would say on there? I don't believe that's your real name. Anyways, Princess Weeks, you suck at writing. And there's a lot of um, commas. There's periods. You can end a sentence. Here we go. As I've been rewatching Netflix and Noel Stevenson's She-Ra and the Princess of Power in preparation for the newest season. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I also scrolling through the internet. Oh, really? You're on the internet too? I can't believe it. One of the things that keeps getting discussed is the prospect of the redemption story for a fan favorite Catra. There's so many people out there that already don't even think she doesn't need to be redeemed because she didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> that, that's where we're at with this fandom. They're already, uh, they don't even care what she did. They just uh, want to share pictures of her and Adora getting it on and that's all they care about. But remember, it's a show for little kids, but they draw very graphic fan art. But little kids, right? Throughout the show, Catra has been a character who, again, they use so many comments here, it's so ridiculous, who... As a result of her trauma, PTSD, and being raised in an emotionally starved soldier makes irrational, hurtful, cruel, and sometimes even evil decisions. Yeah, she does all those things. They, they keep talking about this abuse and everything. They, we only can infer it because they don't show anything. They don't even show any other kids besides uh, Lonnie, uh, Rogelio, and Kyle. We don't see any other kids in the Fright Zone. Wouldn't it have been nice to see more of this? Like there was a bunch of younger kids that are underneath Katra and Adora and they have to like, you know, run them through PT in the morning. So they do stuff like that, but there, there's none of that. It just really seems like there's only five people <laughs> in the military and then just a bunch of random soldiers, but only five like named people. It's, they could have done such a better job of actually showing these things because they just make it up. They're, they're, they show none of this in the actual show. However, in an, in the discourse around Katra, I think we should all remember that a character in question isn't some average human teenager or an adult on a freeform show. Oh, God. Don't watch anything in freeform. It's garbage. She is a severely abused teenager. But any other, any person in this um, in this situation would uh, would be pretty bad. Especially a, a young girl with uh, no family or anything like that. This would be uh, harmful even to everybody. Kyle, Lonnie, all of them have dealt with all of this. So she's not the only one. And Katra could have confided in all of these people and she just never did. So not yeah, not victim blaming, but Katra could have done a lot to help herself. When I was a teenager, who cares? <laughs> I remember reading the fifth Harry Potter book. Clap warning, 
Read another effing book, you idiot. There's more books than flipping Harry Potter. Read Lord of the Rings, please. It's so much better. And I'm not saying that Harry Potter is a bad series, but it just seems to be everything they come back to is either Harry Potter or Avatar The Last Bender, Airbender. And that's all they ever talk about. And guess what? Who they compare Catcher to later on? <laughs> Five bucks if you guess who it is in the Harry Potter books and completely loathing Harry for his emotional evisceration of Dumbledore after Sirius died. For me, it seemed melodramatic and over the top for a character who barely had emotional outbursts like that. In fact, when I think about the moment I stopped liking Harry as a character, that's the one of the moments I remember. It doesn't help that the passage put all of his dialogue in caps lock, which in retrospect seemed like another rolling red flag more than anything. Now, your, your weird thing about this Harry Potter that has nothing to do with Catcher. That, that, that whole sentence had nothing nothing to do with it. So just go back, just skip that whole thing and nothing to do with anything. As an adult, someone who has had to work through emotional trauma and issues that I long ignored. Oh God, get over yourself. No one's life is perfect. Everyone has gone through all kinds of stuff in all different kinds of capacities. Just like, oh, now I understand. What, you couldn't be empathetic unless you went through something? Like, get the hell out of here. I can see that Harry was reacting to the last bit of safety that it was he felt that the world's being taken from him. One of the few loving links between himself and his parents uh, parents ripped away. Plus, Dumbledore could have handled things better. Of course, it's always the, the, the older males. You know, it's, it's his fault. I was, as a teenager, expecting Harry to react like a grown-up and not an emotionally abused teenager. Oh, yeah. The character of Catra. See, now let's not talk about uh, She-Ra again because none of that applies to Catra. <laughs> the character of Catra is someone who I have seen, <laughs> who we've seen emotionally abused by a maternal figure. Yeah, she was manipulating anything, but so was everyone else. And so was Adora and in all different kinds of ways. And But we didn't get to see any of it. Please, besides some of the, the just a couple of moments here and there, we don't get to see anything. I was to go back. We see that Shadow Weaver explicitly harmed Catcher in a way she did not do with the others in the Fright Zone, uh, other Fright Zone kids. Can you name all the kids? Yeah, again, like I said, there's only five of them. How do we know that? I'm pretty sure she was awful to absolutely everybody. Uh, maybe Catcher got a little bit worse than somebody else, but it was all, again, I want to, uh, without cussing, I'm going to quote one of my favorite quotes. It is a, it is a sandwich and we all got to take a bite. You're all living in freaking the Fright Zone. It's like a hell on earth. Everyone's getting it. It wasn't just Catra. They also never, Adora included, seemed to do anything to help her to get her out of the situation. Or you mean like when Adora stood up for her and said, no, 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 don't don't blame her. It was both of us. Uh, when they were like rough house. I forgot exactly what was happening, but they were like rough housing and running around. And Adora stood up for her. You mean like that? You mean like she never did that? Of course she did. But she's also a child too in this freaking child army. And it was hell for everybody. Remember in um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? when Gamora and Nebula were fighting and then she's like, you never did anything. She's like, I was a scared little girl too. I didn't want to get hurt. I'm sorry I didn't, you know, stand up for you, but I would have, they would have just abused both of us. There wasn't any way I could have done anything and I was a scared little girl too. But now, since we're more stronger, more powerful, we can help each other. That's the same situation. What did you want Adora to do? Uh, attack Shadow Reaver when she was 10 years old? Get off your freaking high horse. You don't even understand the situation. I'm not saying that Catcher shouldn't be held accountable. Yes, you are. Or that she not... Or that she did not have a abusive behavior in her past. And yes, she, you, you totally do believe that. But I also think that we should take into fact that she has not been given the tools to grow in healthy ways. Y yes, that's true, but none of them have. And Adora chose the right. And so Scorpio was a pretty decent person and she didn't wasn't receiving the tools. After reading the terrible Lilo and Stitch take yet, don't even look into that. Just people don't understand anything about that movie. I realize that while we have the language of social justice to call out fictional characters for abuse habits, that sentence just made me made me more dumber. <laughs> we have the power. We, we have the language of social justice to call out fictional characters. Yeah, because the fictional characters can really respond to your call out. Oh my God. Oh, the Mary Sue. Oh, the Mary Sue. Oh, the show has never, ever tried to make it seem like Catcher's actions are justified. Yeah, they do. Everything, everything went to the, um, the Crimson Waste and she was treating everyone like garbage and then she was always right and she just bullied her way to the top of that, that, uh, that little gang and she killed Tongue Lasher. Yes, they did show that she was justified in doing all those things. You freaking liar. They have never... See, but the thing, like, 
Oh, then they let this right here. Uh, they never made her to just a victim. Well, yeah, you did. You said she was never justified, so she was a victim. So which one is it? They just want the best of both worlds. I'm the the competent, strong, badass woman that could take on anything. Oh, and then I I, I wasn't justified, and I'm still bad. What what is it? You you they want everything. <sighs> And so, while we should absolutely hold her accountable, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. What would you do? So, what, what would you do to a human being who attempted to destroy all the multiverses and kill everybody on the planet? And quite possibly the whole universe. What, do you, what, what is the uh, appropriate punishment for that? Get back to me on that one, uh, princess. We shouldn't forget that they are talking about a traumatized person. Yeah, and so they don't get to get, to get away with everything. No, yeah, you still had, she had many of opportunities to do the right thing and she didn't do it. She did, oh, I'm traumatized, so I'm allowed to be evil. Go, get out of here. Catcher has the same amount of room to redeem herself. Here we go, here it is, guys, here it is. Catcher has the same amount of room to redeem herself as Zuku did in Avatar of Lost Bender. <laughs> We've been hearing this uh, comparison since this freaking show aired and it is such a false comparison because these two characters have gone on completely different journeys. And it's not even close. Uh, Zuku went through a lot of crap, made a lot of bad decisions, and then he busted his ass to make it right, to do, to to fix what his father did and fix the things that he did, and you know, pursuing the Avatar and then trying to make it right, then making it right with his uncle. Katra has done none of those things. Maybe she will in season five, but with only thirteen episodes, I don't see that happening. Whatever. This 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 comparison is insane. Hell, you can argue that Zuku entered that series in an even more pivotal, uh, privileged place. Oh, yeah, he was privileged. Yeah, being exiled on a crappy boat with his uncle and like five dudes. Such a privileged person, right? Because at least he had Iroh and his mother at one point. <laughs> okay. For Katra, when Adora left the Horde, it was as if, uh, it was as if her Iroh had left. But she has asked her multiple times to join her. So she had multiple times go to hell no she didn't we uh when people say well she had scorp uh, she had scorpia i really don't think they understand what it means to have the starvation economy oh my god they're using these stupid words that they learned in a book or from some abject freaking liberal professor oh that just explains everything here we oh my god here we go i i don't know what this book is and i i, I pray to god that i never come across this, this this pathetic thing i first came across this term in the book the ethical slut <laughs> these people are so full of themselves and the authors described oh there's authors oh jesus described the belief that our capacities for love intimacy and the connection are finite no they're not and there is never enough to go around yes there is and that if you give someone give some to one person you must be taking something away from another no no you don't that that, that is for a selfish piece of garbage i love my whole family and I got a humongous family. Oh, I'm all out. Sorry, uh, my nephew. You don't get any. No, you just have to try. And these these people don't try. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe because you know Mexican families. Me and I grow up you know, Hispanic and everything. You just have. I guess we just have endless amounts of love. And this lady doesn't. She just doesn't have it. Ugh, that, just, that 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 whole concept just makes me angry because it's a lie. That's just an excuse of a lazy person who just doesn't want to try. The explanation. They explain that you learn this from from parents who never give significant amounts of attention. What? <laughs> Here, oh goodness, no. <laughs> that is so wrong. It, it, not only is it an excuse to be lazy, you don't even put the blame on yourself. You put it on someone. Oh, my parents, they didn't love me enough. Oh, go to hell. Or in Catcher's case, none at all. She grew up as a child soldier. Well, you should do some research on real child soldiers like in the Congo and stuff. Yeah, life is really bad. It leads you to believe that all love is cutthroat. No, it's not. And it also makes you suspicious when people offer you love. <laughs> Look at Jesus. This person thinks so much of themselves. Oh my goodness. For Catcher, when Scorpio arrives and wants to be friends, she has already lost her best friend to the enemy and she could have easily joined her multiple times. But not only that, but Adora left because he just figured out the Horde was evil, not when Catcher was being abused. Again, I go back. They make, they're, they're framing this as Catcher was the only person abused. They all went through hell. They were all being abused. Yeah, was Adora the favorite? But I'm pretty sure she received plenty of beatings, plenty of uh, punishments, being thrown in stockades, thrown in the hole. All kinds of horrible things happened to all of them. She just got it a little bit less. So, and they, they grew up thinking that was just life. 
And then when she did figure out it was evil, it was when she saw outside the world where, whoa, there's people who don't go through daily beatings. Like, where's your beating logs? And they don't have those things. That those are the, That's how she figured it out. She couldn't have figured it out before because she just thought that's how life was. This person is an idiot. But when two relative strangers showed up there, for some reason, who believes that love is uh, infinite and that... And has experienced that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he's talking about Glimmer and um, Bo. No, it's because the sword was calling her. There was a lot of other things there. It wasn't just Bo and Glimmer. You, oh my goodness. It is not then easy to lean on the belief that love, that in the love of another person, for someone who believes that love is finite and has experienced that, it is not then easy to lean on or believe in the love of another person. Um, Because she wanted Adora. She didn't want Scorpio. That's the difference. And, uh, yeah, when they were in the Crimson Waste, they, they looked like they were, like, if this whole thing about Adora never came up, would they have been, like, together that night? Probably, because they were giving each other the go-ahead looks. But Adora has such a hold on her heart and her soul. Catcher, uh, Catcher and Adora, that, that's number one. And Scorpio is going to be silver medal. You're always going to be second place. You're never going to be first place in her heart. And that's an awful feeling, but, you know, life is life, right? And so it wasn't necessarily all that other stuff. It was Adora. It could have been it, it, it could have been anyone else and she wouldn't have cared. It was only because it was Adora. We sometimes want so badly for people to be healed and to grow that we forget that growth is not that growth not only takes time, but it also has to be fostered in appropriate soil. What? Yeah, everything you have in your life you can within yourself, especially when it's like uh, inward stuff. Yes, having a support system, wonderful. Having people around you who care about you, even better. But you can heal yourself. It's way harder. You're putting your, you are stacking the deck against yourself, but it's not impossible, especially when you want that accountability and not punishment. Um, how about both? <laughs> I would love for uh, Catra to be accountable for what she did and there to be an appropriate punishment for what she did. Trying to kill everyone in the world, pretty steep punishment. I wonder that attempted murder on a couple billion people. <laughs> Anyways, this was a really short, crappy article. Uh, Princess Weeks are an awful person. Yeah, I can't. I it's just an excuse not to love and care about someone. Oh, my love's finite. I ran out. Mm, ran out of gas. Can't love you. You're awful. You're an awful human being if you honestly do believe that. So yeah, just wanted to knock out one more of these uh things before uh Sierra starts Friday, and then I'm gonna try to do one review a day every day. Probably gonna have to take a couple breaks because ugh, just so much. But uh yeah, stay tuned. It's um gonna be a crazy 13 episodes. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server, link in the description below.